champagne man found one strange fish at Kaufman Lake. This is so weird. Look oh my that. God. A woman finds a creature but has no idea what this thing is. It was about the size of a small dog. The other funny thing was the fingers. They were like long fingers. The head of it, which was where it was really weird and what astonished everyone was like, it had like a beak. Mystery creature washes up on a South Georgia beach and it has everyone scratching their heads. There was no way oh. I could have known it was coming. I mean, it, it just really, really surprised me. Disguising in the sandy bottoms and inhabiting the midnight zone of the ocean are these creatures glowing bodies. Normally too dim to see, but on a starry night like this, it's perfect. Most people have no idea. Most of the creatures down there have the ability to make light. Wide open jaws and features that defy explanation. Oh, wow. my goodness. What's oh, a oh, what? So hang on for a thrilling dive into the depths that's going to leave you shocked. <laughs> Shiny loose jaw. This fish looks like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. Don't believe me? Have a look for yourself. It's a fish with a sleek, slender body and eyes that seem too big for its face. It's known for its jaw that can swing down like a drawer, revealing rows of sharp teeth. Now, let's talk a little about its trick, bioluminescence. It has special light-producing organs on its belly that help it glow in the dark depths of the ocean. It uses this glow to communicate or attract prey. Despite its eerie appearance, it's a skilled hunter, using its unique jaw to catch small fish and squid. It's like a stealthy predator lurking in the shadows. Underwater Magic Show yeah, That's good, that's good, yeah. Normally too dim to see, but on a starry night like this, it's perfect. Most people have no idea. Most of the creatures down there have the ability to make light. Now this is what defines the term nature at its best. It's a special ability that some beings have to produce light using chemical reactions in its body. This light can appear in different colors and patterns, and it serves various purposes for marine animals. That is really utterly extraordinary, mesmerizing. In the deep sea, where sunlight doesn't reach, bioluminescence helps fish to communicate. Some animals use it to attract prey by mimicking the glow of smaller organisms or creating dazzling displays to confuse predators. One of the most famous examples of bioluminescence is seen in fireflies, but many marine organisms, including jellyfish, fish, and squid, also use this magical light to navigate the dark depths of the ocean. Deep Sea Squid All right, let me tell you about the strawberry squid. It's quite the character. It's a squid with a body that looks like a ripe strawberry, all reddish and sparkling with tiny light organs called photophores. This little squid hangs out in the midwater depths, far below the surface where sunlight barely reaches. At night, it heads up towards the surface to find food, like fish and crustaceans. During the day, it goes deep down to stay safe from predators below. It's a smart way to survive. It's like having built-in lights for different jobs. This squid is short-lived but fast-growing. Spotting one at its natural habitat is like discovering a hidden gem in the ocean's depths. Deep Sea Critter This one is like something out of a deep sea ghost story. This jellyfish is huge, with a bell-shaped body that can be over two meters wide. It lives in the deep sea, far below where sunlight can't reach. It moves slowly, drifting with the ocean currents. One really cool thing about Stygio Medusa is that it can make its own light. The light comes from special cells called photophores, which might help it find food or talk to other fish in the deep ocean. Its long, delicate tentacles hang down behind it and catch small fish like plankton and tiny fish for food. Seeing one of these huge ones in the wild would feel like encountering something from another world. Dartfish have you heard about dartfish before? They're a small, colorful fish known for their quick movements and darting behavior, hence the name dartfish. They hang out near reefs or hide in small spaces, moving quickly to escape from predators and catch tiny food like zooplankton. One interesting thing about it is bright colors, which can range from vibrant yellows and oranges to blues and greens. If you ever get the chance to spot a dartfish while snorkeling or diving, keep an eye out for its swift movements and vibrant colors. It's a sight you won't forget. Anglerfish 
Let's talk about the anglerfish next. This deep sea fish is quite fascinating and a bit mysterious. It's known for its special appearance and hunting style. It has a unique lure attached to its head that glows in the dark, and it's really good at catching prey in the dark ocean because of its glowing parts that attract other animals to them. They can stretch their stomachs to eat prey bigger than themselves. This special ability helps anglerfish survive in its tough underwater world. Although it may seem scary or strange due to its appearance and behavior, it actually plays an important role in deep sea ecosystems. Hatchetfish Meet the hatchetfish, nature's own little alien of the deep seas. A small, shiny silver fish with a flat body and big, round eyes. It's like it's ready to sneak around quietly in the dark ocean. It has special parts on its belly that make light called photophores. This light helps it hide in the dim sunlight from above or stay hidden from predators below. Speaking of predators, it is good at hunting smaller fish with its sharp teeth. Nature sure knows how to create amazing beings. Dragonfish The dragonfish is a mysterious being of the deep seas. It has a long, slender body and sharp teeth, giving it a fearsome appearance like a mythical dragon. It hangs out in the darkest, most mysterious parts of the ocean, where sunlight fears to tread. It has special glowing parts along its body, turning it into a natural light show in the deep ocean. Even though it looks a bit scary, it's just going about its business in the deep sea nightlife. We gotta say, nature surely knows how to throw a deep sea bash. Glowing Worm The Venus Girdle is a ribbon-shaped fish you might find gliding through the ocean. It's like a transparent belt shimmering with iridescent waves of light. Instead of pulsing like typical jellyfish, it uses rows of tiny, comb-like structures called cilia to gracefully swim through the water. It's like it's dancing to its own underwater beat. You'll spot the Venus Girdle in open ocean waters, usually deeper down but sometimes near the surface after storms. Overall, it adds a touch of magic to marine ecosystems with its bioluminescent flare. If you catch sight of one on your ocean adventures, you're in for a mesmerizing treat. Fangtooth the fangtooth is a small but ferocious-looking fish found in the deep ocean. It gets its name from its long, sharp teeth, which are so big that they stick out even when its mouth is closed. It's a master of its dark domain, using its keen senses to hunt for prey in the abyssal depths. Despite its fearsome appearance, the fangtooth is actually quite small, usually only a few inches long. Its oversized teeth are designed for catching and holding onto elusive prey. Encountering it in its natural habitat would be like coming face to face with a tiny underwater predator. It's one of the many strange beings that calls the deep ocean home. Viperfish A fish that looks like it could star in its own underwater thriller. This fish has a slender body, sharp teeth, and a menacing appearance that fits its name perfectly, resembling a viper ready to strike. Now, let's dive into its special features. The viperfish has a long, needle-like structure protruding from its lower jaw, adding to its fearsome look. It also boasts bioluminescent organs along its belly, glowing in the darkness of the deep sea. Despite its scary appearance, it is a master of survival in the deep ocean. It shows how clever nature can be and the amazing things that exist under the ocean waves. Gulper Eel Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at his little oh face. My God. <laughs> oh, it's a oh, oh my God. <laughs> The gulper eel, also called the pelican eel or umbrella mouth gulper, is a marine animal that lives in the deep ocean. Wow. What what looks like you think? Is it engorged or is it? It's long and skinny, growing up to one meter long. And its most notable feature is its huge mouth that opens wide like a pelican's beak. Even though its mouth is big, the rest of its body is slender and fragile, which helps it move around easily in the dark ocean depths. Oh my God. That's his defense, like let me oh, blow yeah. up so I can show him how big I am. Living at depths of 500 to 3,000 meters, the gulper eel relies on its large, sensitive eyes to detect bioluminescent light in the deep sea. Its feeding behavior is particularly unique. It has a distendable stomach that allows it to swallow prey much larger than itself. Feather Star I'm the Kreiner, come say hello. Push on in on this swimming beauty. Graceful, very beautiful. It's in your porch. The Feather Star, also known as a crinoid, is a beautiful and unique marine animal found in oceans around the world. 
it belongs to a group of echidnoderms, which includes starfish and sea urchins. The feather star has a delicate, feathery appearance due to its numerous branched arms, which radiate out from a central body like the spokes of a wheel. One of the most fascinating aspects of feather stars are its ability to swim. When disturbed or threatened, it can detach itself from its perch and gracefully swim through the water using rhythmic movements of its arms. This ability allows it to relocate to a safer location or explore new areas of the reef. Red-Lipped Batfish let me tell you about the red-lipped batfish. It's quite the quirky character of the ocean. This fish is known for its striking appearance with bright red lips. It's almost like the fish decided to add some glamour to its underwater life. It's a bottom dweller, meaning it likes to hang out near the ocean floor. Instead of swimming like most fish, the red-lipped batfish uses its special fins to slowly walk along the ocean floor. This unique way of moving makes it stand out and is not something you see every day in the ocean. Barrel Eye Fish The Barrel Eye Fish is a fascinating deep sea fish known for its unique features, including transparent head and tubular eyes. Also called the Spookfish, it has a transparent dome on top of its head through which its eyes are visible. What makes its eyes so special is that they're tubular and can rotate within the transparent dome to look upward or forward. Living in a deep ocean at depths of up to 2,500 meters, the barrel eye fish uses its specialized eyes to detect prey and potential threats in the dark waters. Seeing a barrel eye fish in action is a reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface. Siphonophore the woolly siphonophore is a fascinating and mysterious marine animal that belongs to a group of organisms called siphonophores. Unlike single organisms like fish or jellyfish, it's made up of many specialized parts that work together as a single unit. It has a unique appearance, with long, delicate strands trailing behind it in the water. It can be found in deep sea environments across various oceans around the world, including the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The length of it can vary depending on the species and individual. Some species, like Praia dubaya, can reach lengths exceeding 40 meters, making them one of the longest. Fish with feet. Let me tell you about the Chonax pictus fish, also known as the pink frogmouth fish. This unique fish lives in deep sea environments, particularly in the Atlantic Ocean. It's got a flat body with large pectoral fins that give it a bat-like or frog-like appearance. And its skin? Well, it's usually pink with mixed patterns, which helps it hide on the dark ocean floor. Living deep in the ocean, often hundreds or even thousands of meters below the surface, Chonax pictus eats small fish attracted by its glowing lure. This fish is a remarkable example of how marine animals adapt to survive in the dark and mysterious world of the deep sea. Sea Spider Let's dive into the world of the sea spider, a fascinating being that roams the ocean depths. Despite its name, the sea spider isn't a true spider and belongs to a group called Pycnogonida. This critter has a unique look, with a small body and long, skinny legs that can stretch out to several times its body length. Another notable feature of the sea spider is its unique respiratory system. Instead of having lungs or gills like most other marine animals, sea spiders have a system of thin tubes called tracheae that extend throughout its body. It plays an important ecological role in marine ecosystems and contributes to the diversity of life in our oceans. Brooding Mom Researchers at Mabari observed a deep-sea octopus taking care of its eggs for an incredibly long time, four and a half years, much longer than any other animal known. During this time, the female octopus kept the eggs clean and protected them from predators. This impressive accomplishment shows how it balances the benefits of letting its babies develop inside the eggs for a long time, with its own ability to survive without much food for years. Although it's rare to study deep-sea animals for such a long time, the researchers think that many deep-sea beings might have long periods of taking care of their young. Firefly Squid 
The Japanese firefly squid is a tiny cephalopod with a big glow. This unique marine animal is found off the coast of Japan, and despite its name, the firefly squid is not actually a squid, but belongs to a group called cephalopods, which includes squid, octopuses, and cuttlefish. It lives in the deep ocean and has a special light-producing organ called photophores along its body. The light-producing parts of it make a pretty blue glow that helps it hide and talk to other squid in the deep, dark ocean. Every year, many firefly squid come together near the surface of the water to lay their eggs, and this creates a beautiful, glowing light show under the sea. Bobbit Worm A worm that sounds like it belongs in a sci-fi horror movie rather than our oceans. This critter is a type of marine worm found in tropical waters, known for its bizarre and sometimes terrifying behavior. First off, the bobbit worm can grow quite large, with some reaching lengths of over 3 meters. What sets it apart, though, is its hunting style. It buries itself in the sandy seabed, leaving only its sharp, snapping jaws exposed. When an unsuspecting fish or crustacean swims by, BAM! It strikes with lightning speed, pulling its prey into its burrow. It's incredibly strong for its size. It's been known to slice through fish and even break aquarium glass with its powerful jaws. Yikes! Sea Pigs The scotoplane is a fascinating deep-sea animal often referred to as a sea pig due to its resemblance to a small, pinkish blob. Despite its simple appearance, this marine animal plays a crucial role in its ecosystem by scavenging organic matter from the seafloor. Its unique adaptations allow it to thrive in the deep ocean, where it moves slowly along the seabed, using tube-like feet to navigate and feed. Its ability to break down decaying matter contributes to nutrient cycling in these remote underwater environments, highlighting the importance of even the smallest organisms in marine ecosystems. Big-Eyed Fish a long kind nose canary! They are a separate move anyway. group from the sharks and rays. The long nose spookfish, scientifically known as Rhinochimera pacifica, is a deep sea fish characterized by its unique features. It belongs to a group of fish called chimeras, which are distant relatives of sharks and rays. One of its most remarkable adaptations is its transparent head, which contains tubular eyes that look upward to detect prey and predators above. This fish inhabits the deep ocean, typically found at depths ranging from 200 to 2,600 meters. Its transparent head allows light to pass through, enabling it to spot bioluminescent organisms and navigate in low-light conditions. Its unique biology provides valuable insights into the diverse and mysterious world of the deep sea. Stargazer the stargazer is a fascinating fish known for its unusual appearance and predatory behavior. It belongs to a family of bottom-dwelling species found in marine waters around the world. It's named stargazer because its eyes are situated on top of its head, allowing it to bury itself in the sand and ambush prey from below. It's got the unique ability to deliver electric shocks to stun its prey before swallowing them whole. It's equipped with venomous spines near its heads, making it formidable predators in its underwater territory. Despite its secretive nature, the stargazer plays a vital role in marine ecosystems as an effective predator. Translucent Cockatoo Oh, Cockatoo Squid! Incredible. Oh Incredible image. The cockatoo squid, also known as the glass squid, is a special sea animal that belongs to the Cranchiidae family of squids. You can find it in deep ocean waters all over the world, usually living between 200 to over 1,000 meters below the surface. It has big eyes and long, delicate arms that it uses to catch food. Like many deep sea animals, it can glow in the dark using special light organs called photophores. One of the most interesting things about the cockatoo squid is how it controls its buoyancy. By changing the fluid inside its body, the squid can float at different levels in the water. This helps it survive in its deep sea habitat. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. This fish resembled the prehistoric monster of the deep, Dunkleosteus. 
It was a real heavyweight ruling the seas around 360 million years ago during the Devonian period. It wasn't a typical fish either. It was more like a swimming tank, a massive armored fish up to 10 meters long with a bony head and razor-sharp serrated jaws that could crunch through just about anything. Yeah, it didn't mess around when it came to hunting. It was basically the ultimate predator of its time, using its powerful jaws to chomp down on unsuspecting prey. It shows us how diverse and amazing life on Earth has become over time.